Hi, in a previous video linked in at the end and down below, if you haven't seen it, uh, we took a look at uh, some leaking Energizer Max Plus batteries. And um, this is this something that I hadn't seen before. I've done a whole video on leaking uh, batteries. I've done several, actually. Um, and no, for an update for those who are wondering, no, my ones in my controlled leakage test just... No, aren't leaking. So, yeah, I'm just giving up on that. <laughs> Murphy's just not going to let it happen. Anyway, these Energizer Max Pluses, they leaked. But something I hadn't seen before, they actually leaked the uh, the liquid potassium hydroxide inside. Um, I have actually cleaned these up a bit. But uh, maybe you can see a bit left on the end, perhaps. Yep, yep, you can see some just some of the crystals in there. Anyway, yeah, I've cleaned those up, and you can just barely see the potassium hydroxide crystals there. Because if you don't, and you can see the vents there. there there's a vent hole there. There's another vent hole there. Is that it? Uh, maybe a clogged up vent hole there. But uh, if, if you don't know, alkaline batteries um, are designed to vent like this. They're actually designed to leak, um, <laughs> so to speak. Because if there's hydrogen pressure build up inside the battery due to uh, the electrochemistry, which is due to lots of various things. This is why it's so hard to get these to leak under control. <laughs> Tess just having no luck. Anyway... Uh, hydrogen builds up inside, pressure builds up, and if the pressure gets too much, these vents are des just like an electrolytic capacitor, for example, they'll have the vents on the top. If the pressure builds up, they're designed to vent out, and what comes out is um, essentially the uh, potassium hydroxide liquid, but I've never actually seen it leak in liquid form, at least I don't, I don't recall anyway. So that video was rather uh, fascinating because what happens to the liquid potassium hydroxide inside these batteries when it leaks out is that it very quickly mixes with uh, the air and in particular the carbon dioxide in the air and it forms a uh, potassium carbonate and that's what you see well you can't see it on these ones but anyway uh, uh, maybe there's a few little little nuggets down there is there there you go you can see the potassium carbonate crystal down in there and that's what actually forms um, fairly quickly it forms. Uh, somebody on the previous video said it forms like within like a day or something, you know, it forms pretty quick which is why, um, you know, usually when you open up your product and you've had a battery leakage, you'll find the uh, carbonate crystals behind, you won't uh, find the liquid, but we found the liquid on these puppies, so I've uh, cleaned them up a bit and yes, they are dead but a lot of people in the previous comments said, oh, these are fake. These are obviously fake Energizer batteries. They've never seen this brand in before. And the, and, and the date, the 20 and the 12th, I assume that's 12th month, uh, 2031. And people said, oh, I've never seen date codes that long. These must be fake. I've never seen this branding in the USA, etc., etc." Anyway, they're Energizer Max Pluses. So I thought that I would go to my local shopping center, my local Coles, and see if they had any Energizer batteries. And they didn't, because the brand wars have begun. Begun they have. Mmm, begun they have, the brand wars. And uh, they only sell Duracells. They don't sell Energizers. So I had to go to Woolies, Woolworths, which is uh, like the two competing uh, big supermarket chains here in Australia. And they sell just Energizer. They don't sell Duracells. So there you go. Duracells are ones that usually are infamous for leaking. So the Energizer ones didn't. And we just so happened to capture um, them leaking in their liquid form, these Energizers leaking in the liquid form. Anyway, they had them, so I got them, and they had two different Max Pluses. One is the Max Plus, the regular Max Plus like this. The other is the Max Plus Advanced. Um, and both claim to have a 12-year shelf life on them. And let's have a look at like these reorder part numbers, EP92, BP4, T... Uh, this one's different there, but it's got slash EP92BP4T. So they're absolutely identical. You'll notice that the barcodes are the same for both of them. And oh, but these would be the Coles. That'd be the Coles barcodes, would they? Anyway, um, so yeah, they're obviously like direct replacements. But one's the Max Plus, one's the Max Plus Advanced. So the interesting thing is, so if I get these out of the packets, the Max Plus Advanced looks different. Check it out. They do look uh, quite different, even though the uh, Max Plus, this is the advanced one, and it doesn't have advanced written on it. It's just got Max Plus. The uh, the font is like a different, like it's just all blue. Oh, sorry. 
it's like all blue on this one with white this one has the plus as a black and stuff like that anyway um these are 12 months 2030 for the max plus that's not a match okay but so i've put a blue mark on the uh dead leaky one and this is the brand spanking new one i just got from the uh supermarket and of course they are the official distributors for energizer like they would buy directly from them there's absolutely no way my local Woolworths are selling fake energizers it's just not going to happen they'd have a countrywide brand deal that's why they only sell energizer and that's why coles only sell duracell right they've got like <laughs> there's just brand wars going on okay it's just absolutely crazy anyway same uh, same expiry date 12th month 20 31 and they look absolutely identical everything is the same like go in here and like let's let's have a look at like smaller like the uh the, the you know the r for the registered trademark the trademark down there looks identical the like like the silver in back in on that all of the printing looks absolutely identical between these there's absolutely no difference and uh this uh, had this is the leaky one uh fourth month 19 as soon or fourth week that might could be fourth week or fourth month i'm not sure if you know leave it down below anyway 0419 a you'd expect this one to be different it's actually 0319 a so the ones i bought look like they were manufactured before these ones that leak but everything is the same between these so there's absolutely no way that these things are fake um no sorry <laughs> but the leaky ones were genuine just look at the font look at like these are inkjet printed just look at how they're how they're printed they're like it comes out of the same machine i i swear it does the s up there and you know start like it, these are no these have come out from the same machine so made in the usa usa both are made in usa um energizer brands st louis um mo missouri is it so there you go there's a i don't know what sni is um anyway no nah, these are like even this i have no idea what that number if you do know let us know in the comments down below but they're absolutely identical so these were purchased um apparently he's ha he had these for quite uh, some time but uh hal from the eev blog forum who uh sent these in as part of the mailbag um uh, product and they just happened to leak and by the time they got here they would have been fine when he installed them and he was it was actually in a gps tracker so it was actually running and he left it running sending it here wasn't trying to find out he knows the location of my lab it's okay it <laughs> doesn't matter um he was just anyway this gps uh tracker that I was going to do a mailbag teardown of um, yeah, he just left it running and obviously uh, left them running and then they drained down because I've had it on the bench for quite some time. So there you go. Yep, they're absolutely identical. So I hope that's cleared that up. These are not fake. The genuine energizers leaked. So I guess the only thing left to do is to rip them apart. But I, like, they're going to be the same inside, <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, and as we saw in the previous video um i think look that look something's gone right that's that isn't the light like i think that the uh alkali um potassium hydroxide is as looks like it's started to eat away probably the metallic i guess like is that a metallic sort of like finish in there anyway it has started to eat away at that so that's that is rather interesting i'm not sure if anyone knows exactly how that you know what's I, I assume that that was caused by the uh leak but yeah anyway if anyone's got any thoughts on that let us know but uh yeah i think they're usually like a metallic coating aren't they some sort of yeah because that's just like a metallic coated paper paper or something to get it to look like that mm. and there you go it looks like there's a yeah it's the paper underneath with the plastic wrap on top so yeah that's the thing that's yeah so i got under there i think it must have got under there and started to eat away it must have got under the plastic wrap and started to eat away at the at the paper on there yeah there you go now let's take a look at this it looks like that positive terminal is not actually connected through 
to the battery, uh, to the case, sorry, but it should be electrically connected because I've done a video on this. It was a batterizer video. One of the problems with the batterizer is that they didn't realize that the metal can uh, was actually connected to the positive terminal in most batteries. They do, as some do, actually differ. And the bottom of the battery is going to have the and the negative terminal of the battery like this has a um, in insulating seal around it. That's part of the vent. That might might be separate the vent and the uh, insulating um, seal, but anyway, um, yeah, that's electrically isolated, and I can show you this. This is a good one. I've scraped away the can there. This is the positive end of the battery. You can see directly electrically connected, whereas you go to the bottom end, it ain't there. But you put that on good old volts, and bingo, there we go. <laughs> the can is positive. So if you've got a product that accidentally pierces the outer skin of your battery, um, like this, you can actually, and it's connected to ground, you can actually short out your batteries. It can actually be quite dangerous. And that was one of the issues with the batterizer. And they um, acknowledged that and they like put extra coding on it, extra special woo-woo coding on it to make it not do that. Anyway, yeah, just, uh, just remember that uh, with batteries. Little trap for young players. Okay, I wonder if I can just, yeah. There you go. Top in there. It looked like there was a seal, but there wasn't. It was just uh, welded on top there. That's the positive terminal. Directly electrically connected to the can. Now, I'm not actually going to go in and completely dissect uh, these things because it is just horrible, messy business. But I just did the end of the leaky one here, and you can see the... Oh, you can see all the crud inside like that. So don't try this at home, kids. Um, yeah, this is real messy business. So I have no doubt that they're absolutely identical in that regard. Might be able to get through to our core. Oh, there we go. Is that a separator? That's interesting, is it not? Yeah, this is not like, you know, something that you can unroll like a lithium-ion battery. It's different uh, different construction. Unfortunately, you can't just like peel off the can and then unroll the whole thing. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, out comes the... Looks like little tree roots or something. <laughs> it's fascinating. Ugh. Oh, this is horrible business. I should be wearing gloves, shouldn't I? Oh, check it out. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. Look at this. Woohoo! I just cut this bad boy open. Yes, I did drain it first. Um, but it's... <laughs> wow. Oh, that's not good. Would be... Yes, I did. Uh, I did drain it fully. I used my torch to uh, drain it. But, you know, the ionic resistance, it's gonna... Uh, it's still got some energy left in it, whereas the other ones would have been completely dead. So this one still has a bit of juice, uh, literally. Anyway, that, there it is. Wow. Anyway, I'll see if I can get a screwdriver in there and crack her open. And we'll have a little dig, but I expect it to be absolutely identical to the other one. There we go. So, looks pretty identical, doesn't it? Let's have a go, you mug. Still a bit moist. It's excited to see me. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, was that a like a Was there a surface on that? Was there a silver? Do I imagine that? Flip your mongrel. Oh no. No, I think yeah, no, no, it was just the light. Okay. That was just the light catching off that. But oh yeah. Look, you can see the core. There you go. There you go. This one's a little bit better. You can see the core and I can dig dig some of that out for you. There you go. It's exactly the same. This one, oh well, I don't know, that stuff, oh, there we go, on the bottom. Anyway, yeah, it's like, you can't tell, because, like, as I said, you can't, like, unroll these and peel them apart and take them and do a direct, you know, I, oh, you, you know, there's probably techniques you could do, but, um, yeah, so that's probably the best I'm going to be able to do. There you go. So, no, it's not fake. The new one, of course, is, is moist. The other one's been there for like, I don't know, month. I've been moving offices, <laughs> moving labs for like a month. So it's been at least that, maybe a couple of months. 
Oh, that one's all dry and crusty, but the new one, it's moist. It would have still had some charge left. It would have recovered the voltage because I just drained it down with a torch. Um, I didn't actually measure it, um, but I know for a fact that it would recover. Ah, oh, my blade just fell off my knife. There we go. Tighten that sucker back up. Anyway, that's really fascinating. Um, these are not <laughs> counterfeit. <laughs> Please leave it in the comments down below if you think you spotted something. But like everything, right down to like uh, you know, little details on the silk screen and everything, it's absolutely perfect. So I have no doubt whatsoever that the two Leaky Energizer uh, Max Plus batteries, they were, well, there, there's one of them. There it is. And uh, I have no doubt that they were completely genuine. So there you go. They just leaked. Now energizers leak too. No, the lithiums aren't going to leak. It's a phenomenon of alkaline batteries so uh, that they do this. So, you know, there's supposedly leak, you know, proof versions that they've been engineered better. But yeah, uh, Duracell certainly don't seem to care. Um, and energizer, well, they won't. They leak too. So anyway, thank you for those that uh, commented that these might have been fake, and they certainly could have been, um, but it was worth checking. I was able to find the exact one, so that was a win. So that was rather interesting. So if you like that, please give it a big thumbs up. As always, discuss down below. Check out my other channels here. No, up here, over there, somewhere, whatever, up there. You know what to do. Catch you next time.